Hello, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Whistlekick Martial Arts Radio, episode 267. Today, I'm going to tell you about one of our latest projects at Whistlekick and how it relates to you as a podcast listener and why I think you're going to love this. If you're new to the show, check us out, whistlekickmartialartsradio.com. All of our products, sparring gear, apparel, uh, kicking targets. What else do we have over there now? Uh, hats, posters. We're just we're rolling out so much stuff all the time now. We, we moved to a different setup for all of our apparel, and it just, it's given us so many options, and there's so much more coming. The best way to stay on top of what's going on with all the different things we're doing is our newsletter. You can sign up for the newsletter at whistlekick.com or whistlekickmartialartsradio.com. And actually, someone did this the other day. If you can't find the sign up or it's not working for you, just email us. You can email me, jeremy at whistlekick.com. We'll add you to the newsletter. All right, here's what we're doing. As anybody who's been listening to the show knows, at Whistlekick, we do things a little bit differently. My personal feelings on business are a bit non-traditional. Most people in business look at the companies, the, the competitors, and they think we need to be better than them. We need to move them out of the market. We need to push them back. You know, we, we need to just not meet them where they're at and, and give them a voice. None of these things, right? You're not going to see Chevrolet come out with a press release saying that they love something Ford's done. Like It just doesn't happen that way. Well, we're not Chevrolet. We don't do things that way. As longtime listeners know, we have had several other podcast hosts on this podcast. Sensei Jared Wilson, Ian Abernethy, and I'm, I'm leaving off his title because that's how he wants me to refer to him, Sensei Ando. And there are others that we've reached out to that it just hasn't happened yet. In fact, there is no one that I am aware of that hosts a martial arts podcast, a traditional martial arts podcast, that I wouldn't give a voice to on this show. And that is an open call. If someone out there listening, if you host a podcast and you want to come on the show, come on the show. Reach out. We'll, we'll, we'll get you on. We'll talk. Maybe you'll let me come on your show. And even if you don't, that's fine. Because... At Whistlekick, we have a very simple business model. If it is good for the traditional martial arts, it is good for us. Because that is our mission, to serve the practitioners of the traditional martial arts. And if we're doing things right, if we're putting out services and products that resonate with the traditional martial arts community, our business will grow. And that's why I'm pleased to announce the launch of a new website called martialartspodcasts.com Now what are you going to find over there? You're going to find a number of martial arts podcasts. We're up to five. We're adding more. Now I don't mean new episodes. I don't mean really new content. This is an aggregation site. We are collecting podcasts. Why? Because we want you as a martial arts podcast listener to know what your options are. We have several others over there. You know of a few of them. You might find one or two over there that you don't know about. And we're going to add more. And we want your help. There are some technical reasons why some of those that you might know about aren't there yet. We're working on fixing those. But it's just kind of a way that we can get all of you as podcast listeners additional podcasts. Now, some people out there might look at that and think, well, wait a second. What if somebody's been a, a loyal martial arts radio listener, and they find that they like a couple of these other podcasts more, and they don't listen to martial arts radio as much. That's okay. You know why that's okay? It's okay because of two reasons. First, if you resonate better, if you like a different podcast more than martial arts radio, I want you to listen to that. I want you to get the entertainment, the education, whatever value you take out of podcasts, I want you to get the most that you can. It's kind of like what I've said about styles. Different styles exist because different people exist. Different instructors teach differently because people learn differently. And that's how I view different martial arts podcasts. We cover similar material. We're all talking about martial arts, but we're talking about it in different ways with different lengths of time and 
different formats with guests and, and all kinds of things. And that's good. If you're listening to martial arts podcasts, you're probably going to find more inspiration and positive vibe around the martial arts, which I think is more likely to keep you training and help you expose podcasts and the martial arts to other people. So even though it's very indirect, it still benefits Whistlekick. And that's why we're doing it. And at the same time, if we help these other shows grow, if we expose them to new people, if we expose you to new shows, hopefully one or both sides of that equation will think positively about Whistlekick and maybe throw a guest suggestion our way, or maybe someone will, will speak positively of Whistlekick. You know, it, it doesn't really matter. I'm not tracking this stuff in that kind of organized manner. We are part of the martial arts community. I am a martial artist, first and foremost. I was a martial artist long before Whistlekick, and if there is an end to Whistlekick, for whatever reason, I will be a martial artist after Whistlekick. Whistlekick rests on the existence of martial arts. And I love martial arts and I want martial arts to grow. I think many of you know that. So we've got this site. Let me tell you about this site. A couple things you're going to see over there. You are going to see on the homepage, all of the shows that we have listed. You can click on each of them. You can see the most recent episodes. And we even have a random button. If you go there and you aren't sure what you want to listen to, you can click a random button right on the homepage. It'll bring you randomly to one of the shows, and you can go from there. We are working on that, bringing you directly to a random episode of a random show, but that hasn't happened yet. Again, there are technical things, and rather than launch this when everything was perfect, we wanted to get it out there to you so you could take advantage of it and offer some feedback and help us grow this show into something that you want. It's been a fun site to work on, and we're hoping to grow it and really just kind of make it a destination. You know, at the same time, we're hoping to bring more exposure, not only to martial arts radio, but to the other shows. There are a lot of podcasts out there and so many more starting every day. And no matter how you slice it, however you look at it, when you look at podcast rankings, martial arts, for as many martial arts practitioners are out there, are so far down on the list. There are so many other things that have better featured podcasts. And this is our attempt as Whistlekick has grown. And you know, let's, let's be honest, we've got a little bit of weight we can throw around now. We're trying to throw that weight, not in only a self-serving direction, but in a community serving direction to help us, to help the others that are doing great work and to help the martial arts, the martial arts industry and all of us as martial artists grow. So that's my sort of homework to you today. Check out martialartspodcast.com. See what you think. Give us a shout. Tell us what you think about it. I'd love for you to email me directly, jeremy at whistlekick.com. Of course, you can follow Whistlekick on social media at Whistlekick on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We are also on YouTube where all of these episodes end up. We're on Pinterest. I think we have a Tumblr account somewhere. And what else? We don't have a Snapchat because it's already a lot. <laughs> Having a whistle kick Snapchat would be a lot. Maybe. We've talked about it. Anyway, that's a tangent I'm not getting into today. But thank you for checking this out. I know this was a short and a slightly different episode, but this is important stuff. We want to make sure you all know when we're doing big stuff like this. MartialArtsPodcast.com. Until next time, train hard, smile, and have a great day. <laughs>